Hi, how are you today? A beauty of having animals in the scene. Uh, either elephant, buffalo, cow, snake, tiger, um, deer, <laughs> uh, etc. Anything about the animals in the scene of your photo shoot. It just bring the life into your images. And in this session, I was shooting models riding horse at the horse farm uh, with the rock hills and also a clean field background. <laughs> I have the models wearing a long dress, long beautiful dress, and tell her that uh, she, in this scene, she will be like a princess riding her horse uh, in her own land and just been with that beautiful atmosphere and she is uh, the most beautiful woman in this team. <laughs> Number one thing that we need in the session with um, the animal, big animal like this with our models, that to feel safe and comfortable between both of them. Before the shooting date, I was posting uh, on my Facebook uh, so and social, the other social media platform that I'm looking for the models who be able to riding horse and this model just hands up and applied it to me like uh, she wants to be in this scene she want to be a model and uh, she want to have this photograph and she can use for her profile or portfolio or whatever and then I just say okay yes but uh, have you ever ever ride a horse before and she said no but she said she will to buy after that tomorrow she said tomorrow i'm going to attend and take the lesson riding horse right away and yes why not and i said that's amazing of uh, the models who have passion and she really wanted to work with me so i accept her request and uh, I've been wait for her for uh, three weeks uh, to help her feel comfortable and feel familiar and feel friend between herself and the horse. I work on this session on the morning so the models and the horse feel more flesh. But even in the morning on, at the horse farm, uh, the sun a little strong. I set my camera Nikon C724 70mm lens and uh, f4 lens. Um, so I set up my camera at f5.6 to 8. It depends from the location too, right? Sometimes we need some more, uh, we don't need too much blur background, so we need some background also. So I change my setup a bit, like sometimes 5.6 and sometimes until 8 that maximum for me. Uh, speed shutter for the movement like this with the animal. Of course the animal not going to pose for you, right? So and the theme is model riding horse not going to like posing. So they will walking, running or moving around whatever. So the shutter speed it should be, uh, I set it between 100 to 300. Depends on the spot also shade and sun we have to change all the time so as we are a photographer we should uh, and we are getting into the professional path we have to work on the manual right so and then uh, ISO I work on only 100 for outdoor so uh, then remember every time you shoot you have to change every time you shoot you have to set up your camera you have to num the first thing you have to work with your camera busy with your setting camera all the time every time you shoot because when you change the location and the shooting spot have to change all the time don't forget that it's happened to me also sometimes uh, when i excited with the models i and the models that i never meet before 
and she like amazing and she talk and we talking we chatting and laughing and then I forget to and we change the location or spot the shoot and then I forgot to uh, change my setup and then when I come back home or uh, I look afterward I just like <laughs> right so we just meet the shot and sometimes the sun and the time and the location and the the thing is never come back when you get the you always get the best shot when it's the wrong setting right and the the pose and the everything perfect right there but unfortunately it's dark or it's too over or under or whatever so be careful about that don't miss it <laughs> i was uh live stream on this channel too on that day the shooting live so you guys can check on the link there or here whatever so but uh the internet was not great because it's up on the mountain but you can see uh, what the location look like and what I said like I used the rock hills to the background and then I moved to the green field to the background too so you guys can see and also when I said the sun is a bit too strong it's just like like that mm. so uh, I shot the the first I start to shot her uh, shot them she riding horse with the hill rock big rock hills background with the textures actually quite nice but the shade and the sun is a bit weird because the sun is too strong so the shade will be too strong too right and it's not supposed to be black and white because I don't want to see the color of the horse and also a beautiful models so I have to adjust my camera a little harder but I know what I want and I know what I'm going to work on my post processing and then afterward we move to the other spot is like the clean feel <laughs> it's a clean background right so it's a clean feel then the problem is when you shoot with the animal uh, the animal that it eat the eating glass the glass is the, the, a good food for them right so that horse a beautiful horse just eating all the time that's the other problem that we we have and we have to be careful and then I asked the model to try to control the horse to not eat too much but uh, even though <laughs> anymore one only thing that when they have food in front of them of course they're going to eat food that's the number one thing by that time right anyway so I got a few shots anyway uh, with the clean background and clean fields but the better shot I moved back to the rock hills again and I got a few more good shots there so for my post processing on this session I did just like normally when I shoot outdoor I always post processing on Lightroom to adjust the light and shadow and then I switch to Photoshop to add more color and the dramatic feeling that I want and uh, every session of my something like this if not for the clients and but for my own project I don't like to see my image look like advertising <laughs> so I always try to edit in dramatic feels or just like a piece of art rather than uh, the short form advertising like the horse farm advertising or the fashion advertising something like that it's something different for me uh, yeah <laughs> oh hey um, I create a portrait photographer notebook planning planner goal set 2022 so inside the this notebook is will be the interior will be just like the goal set the appointment with the models the date the theme setting and the models detail uh, the time appointment and the budget that you spend on every session and then including the uh, model release in the other side so I have the, a lot of model release in there and also appointment page that you have to work with the model so remember model release is so important you every time you shoot either you are a major or professional photographer you need model release this is I 
you, you, you can't forget this. This I have to say, I have to tell everybody that all of my friend and you all of you when you shoot the models, model ladies is neat, what, no matter what. So check out from the link down here that I will tell all of this what I'm, I'm talking about this session and also the link of uh, my camera gear and the link of these notebooks that I leave the link below is on Amazon though. Uh, it's not expensive at all. So you, the, the, the Amazon distribute this notebook many many country so it just like in US in Europe many countries just like Italy German and uh, France um, Austria and also Australia and in Asia also like Singapore and Japan so when you where, wherever you guys are you just uh, try to search on your country and order and we be uh, get a bit quicker because of transportation not too far right okay check the link below and here behind the scene and the resort So thank you for watching. I hope you guys like this video and like my work. And also, I will leave the link below of the models and uh, yeah, everything. Don't forget to subscribe and support my channel and support my work too. And also subscribe and see. Uh, I write a blog every day on my website, worldwideweb.budua.com. So check it out. I will leave the link below and subscribe to be my membership and when you become membership especially you if you are a photographer or either you are models I give the tips and tricks in the box so uh, to improve and grow together between uh, photographer and models for today <laughs> bye for now and have a good one bye bye